Hi guys, I'm Az Jarod Batu. Today I'll be talking about certified fraud examiners. Before I start this presentation, I would like to introduce an interesting fact about fraud. Occupational fraud has created 3.7 trillion US dollars annual problem worldwide. This number indicates that fraud poses the greatest threat to organization all over the world. Frauds are committed by individuals who work every level of the organization from entry-level employees to executives. What's the Certified Fraud Examiner? Also known as CFE, CFE awarded by Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. The CFE indicates expertise in fraud permutation and detection. In recent years, it has been shown that governments and businesses tend to hire many certified fraud examiners. Furthermore, the Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates a rise of about 10% in employment of fraud examiners by year 2024. CFE demonstrates knowledge in financial transactions, fraud scams, law investigation, fraud presentation, and deterrence. Some of the advantage of CFE credential includes increasing your earnings. CFE is earning 34% more than their non-certified colleagues. It also advances your career. CFE certification is a document evidence of expertise and experience, knowledge and professionalism. It enhances your marketability and job security. It gains professional visuality and credibility. Uh, CFE is accepted worldwide as a standard of excellence in the anti-fraud profession. It distinguishes yourself, your peers, and it impacts your company bottom line. Organization with CFE uncover fraud 50% and the fraud losses uh, 62% smaller than organizations that don't have CFA. Uh, CFA earns $18,000 more than the ones who aren't certified. How to become certified fraud examiners? Before you may apply to become CFA, you must meet the following requirements. You are, you are required to be a social member for the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners in good standing. You are also need to minimum uh, academic and professional requirements. It means the Certified Fraud Examiners must have a bachelor's degree in accounting and at least two years work experience in the field. Also required to be high moral character. And you need, uh, you need to agree to abide by bylaws and code of professional ethic of association of fraud examiners. There are four steps to become CFE. The first step is, uh, join the association of certified fraud examiners. The special members raise available students and educators. The step two is prefer to the CFA exam. Uh, you have two options to prefer the exam. The first one is attend the CFA exam premium course. The second one is study your your own on using the fraud examiner manual. The step three is apply to the CFA exam. Uh, you have to submit all your documentation one month before you plan to take the exam. The cost to take the exam is $400. If you have purchased the CFA exam preparation course, the fee is $300. The step four, pass the CFA exam. Before, uh, before earning the CFA credential, you are required to pass the CFA exam. The exam tests your knowledge of four major areas to complete the fraud examination the body of knowledge about uh, financial transaction fraud scams law uh, uh, investigation 
fraud fragmentation and deterrence. In short, the certified fraud examiner's credential is administered by association and association of certified fraud examiners. Industrial professionals usually usually join association of certified fraud examiners to gain more education about uh, identification and presentation through through the organization training course publications and webinars and conferences it takes four steps to become cfe the process takes up to about three or four years association of certified fraud examiners requires the reference confirming once i identity before issuing certificate and my research including follow if you have any questions please put them in discussion board thank you